Hello, thank you for stopping by my channel. This is my Dan Computer Training Channel. It's actually a channel designed for the beginners and also to those of you who know we have been learning computer for a long time and we know much about computer. So it is both for beginners and those advanced in computing. Today we are going to discuss about how we can make use of our keyboard to serve both as a keyboard and mouse. I would actually prefer if you use it for emergency purposes. Many of us may wonder how possible that can be. But I can assure you that with the few steps we are about to take in this short tutorial, you will see how possible it can be. So, if your own computer keyboard have this section, the this uh, numerical section at the right side of your keyboard then we are good to go the following are the steps in step number one all you need to do is to click on your start start sorry click on your start okay before we go further if you have not subscribed i'll give you a little time to subscribe and like our video leave a comment so that we will know much about how we can be of help and that may shape to our next video. After clicking on start step 2, please kindly type control panel. Oh, you can see my control panel there. I will just have it click or press enter. In case your screen do not show this way or maybe it shows this way, please do not get panic. Just go to category, make a change of it and then it comes to this way. The next thing you need to do is to come to this part that says Ease of Access Center. Ease of Access Center. After coming to Ease of Access Center, our next move will come to this direction. Make the mouse easier to use. Well, in most cases, when you come to this point, if you have not configured it before, it will likely appear this way. So you need to turn on mouse keys and then set up mouse keys. Here comes the environment that you need to do a little adjustment. In most cases, it will appear this way. Sorry, I've already configured mine. That is why it appears this way. So it will appear this way. All you need to just highlight all of them. And in here. Good. 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 You may decide the speed either to make it faster, slower, as much as you may want. Then you click on apply. And okay. With these just few steps, you have configured the numerical section of your keyboard to serve both as a keyboard and mouse. Next step, we are going to go there and see how it is possible that we have configured our keyboard to serve the dual purpose. You can see at the bottom right a sign of a mouse one of the icon there you can see a sign of a mouse that shows that we have just configured our keyboard to serve the dual purpose how can we be so sure i'm not going to use my mouse pad this time all you need to touch it out any of the key you may not touch five on that numerical because five serves a different purpose but let's take, for example, I'm going for seven of oh, my mouse is a bit slow. What do we need to do to make it faster? Just press your control. Can you see how fast it is now? And you can press in your other key. Can you see how fast it is? With your control, it's run so fast. In order for you to open a particular document, just go to the document. Let's say my recycle bin. After getting to my recycle bin, you know what next I would do? It's very simple. All I will need to do, I will just double click on five. That five on that numerical section. And if you double click on it, get your dice. When this happens, you can just go there and have an, and have it open. As I have said earlier, this is basically for emergency purpose. So with that, we can be able to use our keyboard to serve the purpose of both keyboard and mouse, mostly for emergency purpose. So let me know what you think about the tutorial. Let me see by your comment 
what you will want us to talk about next. So with this few steps, we are available to do what we had just mentioned, converting our keyboard to serve both keyboard functions and that of mouse. Again, please leave your comments after you have subscribed so that I will know what you think. Please have a pleasant day for now.